authorities to put me uh, in some institution. But for some reason, it's okay for people to stand up in front of a 500,000, 10,000 people and, and say these crazy things. But there's a method to the madness, so let's understand it. Mike gave you a little bit about my journey. I started in Wichita, Kansas, born and raised there. Unfortunately, it's been in the news a bit too much in recent uh, months and years. I went to Friends University, just think of the acronym there, if you will, briefly, of Central Kansas. I'll <laughs> just get that out of the way while we're up front here. So it was a little Quaker college, and, and it was a fairly conservative Quaker college. Quakers can be pretty wild and liberal, but this, this one wasn't. And I, I learned a lot about anthropology, sociology, took my degree there. Loved it. Didn't find anything that really explained religion to me. And I was still pretty religious in college, so religious that I went on to get a master's degree at Scarif College for Christian Workers in Nashville, Tennessee. You don't get much more Christian than that, do you? Yeah. Well, I, I got two years degree there at the end of it. I can't tell somebody else, but I don't believe myself. So I kind of opted out, took a few months off, and then got into my doctoral studies in psychology. Uh, my real job is as an organizational psychologist. I work with corporations, executives, and managers. But my hobby, or my interest, my real interest in life, has always been religion and what makes it tick. And because I couldn't find anything among all the theorists that I'd read and all my academic training that could explain that, I started thinking, well, maybe I should start trying to explain it myself. And then I came across Dawkins, Richard Dawkins' essay, Viruses of the Mind. Powerful little essay. That essay opened my eyes. I said, wow. Dawkins is a biologist, but he's got the key. He tells us what we, what we need to know to really understand how, how it works. But Dawkins is a biologist. Daniel Dennett is a philosopher. Sam Harris is what a neurological biologist or something like that. And, and uh, Hitchens, he's a journalist. What do any of these guys know about psychology? You could literally read all their books, and at the end of it, you wouldn't know anything different to do in your life or your behavior. You wouldn't really have explained anything about other people's behavior. So I figured there's a big need for this kind of, uh, this kind of information out there. And, and that's when I started writing about Paris. No one seemed to be looking at the functioning parts of religion. They didn't look at what makes it tick. How do the gears work together? How do you get people to do these crazy behaviors like stay celibate the rest of their life? If you're a Catholic priest, or blow themselves up in Baghdad, if, you know, you're a fanatic coming out of a religion in the Middle East. The God virus metaphor seemed to be a framework to work within. You may have noticed that a Muslim talking about their religion sounds a whole lot like a 